Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol R-I-O-T. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame thing as a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very crazy, not only price action, but you look down here at the volume and volume came surging in. This is one of those Bitcoin stocks and Bitcoin just uh, all of a sudden jumped today. So that's uh, why I'm assuming, you know, this thing got, you know, moving. So I'll definitely be keeping an eye on this one tomorrow. So I want to just map out some levels of support and then talk areas of resistance. So first level of support to keep an eye on is basically the bottom portion of where this consolidation period happened. And that's right there around $5.85. You know, as you can see, the big move happened then the price did pull back. And, you know, the end of that pullback was right around 585. So like I said, that'll be that initial area of support that I'll be watching. Now, in the event the 585 mark cannot hold, then not that far below, there's actually the next level of support. And that is the pink line right there, the famous 200 period simple moving average. 585 and then 560, which is, you know, basically the, the, the value of that 200 period. I'm not going to call those must hold levels. I'm just saying that if those areas do not hold, the next level of support, not until down here, right around the $5 mark. I'm not saying it'll drop straight down there, but there is a potential you know, for a, a bigger break to the downside if this kind of little support zone doesn't hold. Again, the zone being from 585 down to 560. So keep an eye on that and we'll see you know, if that level can hold or not. Like I said, if that area of uh, support does not hold, the next level of support would be down around the breakout point from today. I think that's... Uh, right around $5.20. So those would be the levels of support. As far as resistance levels are concerned, the party stopped today up there at $6.60. So, you know, I'll keep an eye on that level, but really uh, the, the thing that I'm most uh, curious about is how is the price gonna react on any sort of pullbacks? Uh, is it going to pull back and crash or is it going to pull back, consolidate nicely and then get a surge to the upside? Because little things like that can really give you good insight into whether or not uh, this is, you know, quite frankly, just some sort of pump and dump price wise or if there might be some genuine power behind it. So for me, like I said, more important than breaking levels of resistance is more so how does the price react around levels of support going forward? So, yeah, let's see how the price uh, unfolds. But no doubt about it. A lot of action in this one. I know I'll be watching it tomorrow. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.